morning, holy brothers and sisters! It is the 25th of Sivan, and in the Kitsur Lukutei Maharan, today's lesson will be called Clapping Clarifications. Teaching number 211. The reason why people travel to Tzadikim for Rosh Hashanah, the new year, is because the only way to mitigate strict judgments is through holiness and purity of thought. And the only way to purify and sanctify one's thoughts is through attachment to the Tzadik, the righteous one. Rosh Hashanah is the source of strict judgments for the entire year, and it is necessary to purify one's thoughts in order to mitigate those judgments. This is why people travel to be with the Tzadikim on Rosh Hashanah, namely in order to merit the holiness of thought and to mitigate strict judgments. You know, some people ask why we spend so much money and we run away from our wives and our families on the new year on Rosh Hashanah. Yes, superficially, it might look strange that on a holiday that seems family-oriented, we would choose not to be with them. But when you study and look more intensely and recognize that the exact reason we go to the tzaddik is for the sake of the ones that we care most about, there is nothing better we could do for them in the world for the ones that we love. We give up a few super sanctified days of being with our families precisely for the sake of our families. Teaching number 212. Clapping hands during prayers enables a person to properly utter the praises and descriptions by which we call and metaphorically describe God. These descriptions are the concept of looking upon the image of God, Numbers 12.8. Clapping is also the aspect of the human hands under their wings, Ezekiel 10.21. Since wings are words, as in a winged creature will speak the word, Ecclesiastes 10.20. Moreover, by clapping hands during prayer, a person's prayer is included in both the written and oral law. Never underestimate the power of our physical movements that send shockwaves through spiritual realms. The power of speech comes from attachment to the tzaddikim. And through this medium, we create our realities. Teaching number 213. There is a holy name, the S-A-L, the Samach al lamed generated by the initials of the phrase, You conceal me, Ata Seser Li, Psalms 32.7. And when the Holy One, blessed is he, wishes to rescue a person from the death sentence that has been decreed upon him and to conceal him and cover him from the evil one, he then conceals and covers him with this name. The evil one seeks a way to get in under this covering and concealment, but as soon as he gazes at the person, he falls powerless because of this name. When reading the verse, you conceal me, you guard me from an enemy, Atta Cesar Li Mitzar Tisraini, Psalm 32.7, a person must pause between the words Atta Cesar Li and the words Mitzar so as to avoid generating the letter combination of Samach Mem Aleph Smal, which is the name of the Satan, God forbid. We should always be extra careful of our pronunciations so as to keep crystal clear our words and meanings behind them with which we are trying to say only positive things. As always, thank you so much for learning together. If you enjoyed this lesson, please remember to like, comment, share, and borrow. And please, God, we'll learn again tomorrow. 